right, so another lesson. I think in this one I'm just going to kind of talk about practicing and playing and uh, just give you a few tips and, you know, progress. Uh, the last two videos I taught you, you know, the E chord, the A chord, G, D, and C. With all those chords, uh, there's many many songs you can play and there's two really good YouTube channels for easy guitar uh, one is Justin guitar and the other is Marty music both of them have many many easy guitar songs so if you want to learn songs I suggest going to those two channels and you'll learn all kinds of songs so what I want to talk to you about today is the difference between playing and practicing because if you're just playing you know you're not going to progress as much if you practice you know say you say you want to practice twice a week half an hour each time it almost be better to practice every day you know six days a week for 10 minutes you know it's the same time in the end but Playing every day for 10 minutes would be a lot more productive than twice a week at a half an hour. And, you know, if you're, if you're picking up your guitar, sitting there watching YouTube videos, just strumming along, playing, and doing all this other stuff, that's not practice. That's just playing. Or if you're, you know, you learn a song and you're out with friends and you're playing along, that's not practice. That's just playing. Practice is sitting down, dedicating 10 minutes, figuring out what you want to learn. You know, if you're new, okay, I got to learn these six chords or these three chords, these power chords, and taking 10 minutes and focusing. No, no other distractions, no YouTube, no TV, just sitting down and practicing. And the more you practice, the more it'll become fluent and the more you'll get it. But, um, yeah. What I, what I do a lot is I'll sit there and I'll watch TV or anytime I'm sitting around just lounging, I'll pick up the guitar and play. Like my biggest thing now that I can't hold a pick is trying to learn sweeping. So every time, the first thing I do is I'll... And I'll play sweeping arpeggios back and forth, you know? The down was always pretty easy, but that back pick with my thumb really, the back sweep, you know, alternate picking anything. That back pick took me a long time to figure out and a lot of practice and a lot of playing. <laughs> so basically, you know, that's what this lesson is. You know, I'll teach you a few strumming things, like, you know, like as you go from down strokes to up, down, down, up, down, up. Just. Once you get those two where you can fluently switch your chords without worrying about what's going on with this hand or not stopping, then you can start others like down, down, up, you know. Let's see. Down, down, up, up, down. <laughs> down, down. Yeah. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. I mean about that upstroke with my thumbnail being <laughs> because in all reality the strumming you know the chords you know definitely hit the notes but how you strum it you know accents everything and then even like power chords you know say you're doing power chords 
So say you're doing power chords, you know, you can do like the James Hetfield. <laughs> All down strokes, or then you want to get into triplets. It's so it's all about how you strum. See, listen to the difference between down and up. Or you can just do straight up down, you know, to make it faster. I'm just kind of doing it as an example, all top strings, you know. See, that was all down strokes, but you can switch it. It's all in how you strum things. So, um, yeah, just practice, practice, practice. Don't just play. Make sure you set a time, you know. No distractions, nothing else sitting around. Just you and, and kind of schedule it. Say, okay, for five minutes, even if you got 15 minutes or 10 minutes, break it up. I'm going to learn these chords for five minutes and these chords for five minutes. Or I'm going to strum down strokes this way, and you know. Just strategically plan it so you're focused on what you're doing and not just playing. Because just playing is fun and you learn, but it slows down the progression. And the more focus and the more time you spend really focused on what you're doing, the more you're actually going to learn. All right, so I think that's about it for this one. Remember, Justin Guitar and Marty Music both have a lot of new songs old songs but they're all just like easy three or four chord songs all right next lesson i think i'm going to show you the minor pentatonics or the pentatonics we'll go into a few scales you know get your lead playing and maybe we'll set down some songs and you know practice 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 it's the only way to get better all right like subscribe you know if you have any comments what you want to learn or anything like that suggestions just leave them down in the comments below. Take it easy.